So let's imagine that you have $100,000 in student loan debt. In this world, for some of us, this might not be far from the truth. And as is common with student loans, your total debt is the sum total of multiple individual loans. Now, unless you're already rich, it's probably not possible for you to pay off the entirety of this debt in one payment. So the usual approach would be to tackle the loans individually, gradually paying each loan off. In other words, once we've divided the 100k debt into individual loans, we can tackle them in isolation from one another. So over time, we'll pay off each individual loan, which will eventually come together to completely pay off our overall debt of $100,000. And this is the divide and conquer algorithm. And that's pretty much all there is to it. We first divide the problem into subproblems of the same related type. So in this case, each subproblem is subtracting debt. And then we conquer where the combined solutions come together to form the solution to the overall problem. So let's apply this to something more technical. We'll use a sorting algorithm called merge sort as an example. We're presented with an array that we want to sort. And the first thing that we do is divide the array down to individual arrays of size 1. Now, an array of size 1 is technically sorted because, of course, there's only one element. So within the conquer portion of the algorithm, we will merge the sorted arrays. And we do this by making use of another algorithm or pattern where we make use of two pointers. And if you aren't familiar with the two pointers pattern, I have videos explaining this that you can access by following the link above. So if we have two sorted arrays, we'll start both pointers at index 0 for each array. We then compare the two values referenced by the pointers. 1 is less than 2, so we'll take that value first, and then we increment the pointer for the right array. 2 is less than 3. So we take that value and then increment the pointer. 3 is less than 4. So we take that value. And at this point, the pointer on this side can't increment any further. So we then just append the rest of what is pointed to by the other pointer. We're then left with a sorted array. So back to our merge sort visualization. Once we've reached the end of the conquer portion of our algorithm, we're left with a sorted array. And this is divide and conquer. If you want to learn more about merge sort, including coding examples and its time and space complexity, I have other videos on the topic that you can access by clicking the link above. And that's going to be it for this video. If it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and tell your friends, and I'll see you in the next one.